But do you think if I if I brought a pig here now and I cut its throat, no. would you be happy about that? No. no. So why if it happens because behind? I have to see it. But if you, really. if it's not good enough for your eyes, why is it good enough for your stomach? Do you think? It isn't. <laughs> <That's> it. No. <laughs> Like in countries like China and stuff, where they like raise dogs to kill them and eat them, like do you think that's acceptable? No. 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 Why do you, why is that not acceptable? I just think it's morally wrong. Why do you think it's morally wrong? It's a good point. I agree. I just, agree why I just do. I just don't think. I just don't agree with it at all. Yeah. Really. So I guess the, my follow-up question to that would be like, what's the difference between eating, say, a dog and eating a pig? Do you think? <laughs> well, that's why I think the argument is really tough. What do you think? Do you have an answer to it? Okay. No. It's hard, isn't it's it? It's hard. Yeah. So do you think there is a difference, or is there not a difference? Like there is a difference, but there, there's not a difference. It's really hard to it's find the words how to explain it. Yeah, I think the difference there is, is, but there shouldn't be. Ah, that's interesting. You said. I mean, I guess the difference is maybe we've been raised to think there's a difference, and like we've yeah. been told since we were born to think there's a difference. But like in China, they've not. It's all the same thing. Yeah. But it, do, you, do you think that if it's not morally acceptable in China to eat dogs, should it be morally acceptable in this country to eat pigs and cows if there's no difference? Probably not. But I think people are going to do it anyway, regardless. Do you think because people are going to carry on doing it that? makes it morally acceptable or no no so you, are you are we maybe established that perhaps it's immoral to kill animals to eat them yes <laughs> yeah. yeah so you guys yeah. think maybe it is wrong yeah no i think it is wrong but I, I, it's not going to stop i think regardless so do you think that maybe as a society maybe as individuals you kind of uh, value like the taste of an animal over its life yeah definitely and how does I that make you most people do, don't they? Because the majority of the world aren't, whatever, vegetarians or vegans, yeah. do you know? That's right. It's interesting, isn't it? Do you think you could kill an animal yourself to eat it? No. Do you think if you couldn't kill it yourself, it's okay to pay someone else to kill it on your behalf? No. I don't think that's okay, but, I mean, you do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you do it anyway. I'm terrible, but you, like, do you, you do. Do you think it's a bit strange that maybe the, the things that you do or the things that you pay for, like, I contradict? Yeah. Yeah, but I, you don't think about it. I don't give it a second thought. Why don't you think about it, do you think? It's just every day. Normal. Because when we buy it, it's not got its face. There's no face on the, the meat, is it? It's kind yeah, of wrapped in plastic. You don't see where it comes from. You don't question it. It's nothing like right. that. Do you think there's a difference between eating a dog and eating a pig? That, again, depends on the culture. Yeah, it's true, actually. I mean, like some personally, some I have never meat. tasted a shark before. I would like to. <laughs> you would? A shark? Yeah, yeah. a shark, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I love other seafoods and sea animals as well. Yeah. Uh, so... I mean, like, if someone likes to eat, like, pork, like him, I, I don't, I don't like to eat pork. I, why not, why not pork? Well, it's kind of fatty and uh, the taste isn't, like, f for me, like, I like, I prefer chicken. Not into pigs? No, not really, no. Um, but otherwise, if you would take, like, him and me, for example, uh, we both eat meat, that is a fact. Um, but it's against a preference of what kind of meat. Yeah. So it's again a depends. Yeah, on the a, a do you think um, do you think there's anything morally different between eating a dog, eating a pig, or like is it the same morally? It doesn't make much sense because people like dogs and pigs. They don't think about like dirty animals. So yeah. so dogs aren't a uh, obvious choice. But in some cultures, dogs are being eaten. And you think that, do you think that's okay? I don't know even. You're kind of not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't make sense anyway. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me actually. I'm not really sure. But I mean, why? Do, I mean, actually, why? Why do you think they eat dog? Because they, because they are probably the right people. Because they think the dog is just like the pig. It's just the same as the dog. It's still a living being. Why do you eat pigs? Like because. They give us a lot of food and everything, but dogs are just being very likable these days. Do you think pigs can be likable? Sure, yeah, they are. Yeah, I pigs mean, are pets. Some people also. have pets. They do, don't pigs, they? Yeah. I've seen some like videos of people with yeah. pet pigs, and it made me think a little bit because they're quite cute, aren't they? Do you think they're cute? Yes. Yeah. Would you be able to kill one yourself? Well, personally, no. Yeah. Do you think if we couldn't kill it ourselves, it's okay to pay someone else to kill it on our behalf? No. No. But why do we do it then, do you think? Well, people do it without thinking, so it's it's kind of an instinct. Like, they don't feel the regret if they yeah, kill an animal. Because when we buy it, I suppose it's wrapped in plastic, yeah. isn't it? It doesn't have the face on it. It's wrapped in plastic. 
Would you eat a dog, do you think? I don't think I could. I've had dogs my whole life, like, right. and cats as well, you know. Yeah. My sister's had horses, I don't think I could eat that. And no. I get that that's bad in terms of like, well, it's, it's a dog, it's a cow, it's still an animal. Yeah. But I think in terms of, you know, I was raised on beef and the yeah. traditional Do you think there's a difference animals. between eating like a, a pig and a, and a dog? I think we were raised to think so. Right. It does but, come down to upbringing. Yeah, but I do think that if it came down to it like, oh my God, zombie apocalypse, <laughs> you have your pet dog, you need food. Yeah. This is the last thing, like, you have to eat it. You if to. you had to. In a zombie apocalypse. If, if you had do you to. think we're going to end up in a zombie I apocalypse anytime soon? I, really I don't really want to have eaten dogs either. No. <laughs> really it's, it's, I mean, I think what's really interesting is it kind of goes along. Sorry, I'll only keep you in a minute. Is that all right? right? Yeah, yeah, of course it. Really, yeah. it, it kind of follows on with what we were saying about like it's been like a progressive shift in like in our generation, particularly yeah. the way that we view maybe like oppressed minority people. Yeah. And I think there's also been a bit of a shift in the way that we view animals as well. And I yeah, think a lot definitely. more people in our generation are looking to go plant based, they're looking to cut meat out of their diets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this something you've come across at all? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, you know, I have friends that are vegetarian and yeah. stuff, and some of them is because generally because they don't like meat and right. some of them is because they've chosen to become vegetarian as they're older and stuff like that so I think it definitely is something I could look towards you know my sister's a nutritionist and she's always looking for other ways you know she's working with all sorts of clients yeah. and stuff like this so it's good that there are so many other ways you know we we can survive I think no matter what there's always an, an alternative That's option true. for humans and stuff like this so definitely like I think I, I could survive if I had to you maybe know maybe something you'd look into in your own time yeah definitely like, like, like a, a vegan life maybe they like you know veganism yeah yeah like I've got like I said I've got friends that are vegans yeah, and stuff and like whenever we meet up like obviously I go to their like wherever they want to eat like right. restaurants and stuff like that so you know it's definitely something I could look into and I'm always watching like videos and right. reading right. about it I think it's it's everywhere now and it's so easy to learn to become That's a vegan it. and it's stuff. the internet age isn't it? it's made it so much easier to yeah get definitely yeah 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 well thank you so much That's for okay, thank I really you. appreciate it do you think it's strange that we don't question where it's come from yeah. if, if it is normal why do you why do you not question where it's come from i do yeah you sometimes do yeah but then you just yeah you yeah. just don't really think about you it you kind of push it to the back of your mind don't yeah. you yeah i think it's because we've been told to perhaps because you were saying to me just before we start the conversation like where's the nearest five guys and presumably when you go to five guys you're going to buy like some cow or something but when you when you went when you're going to go buy the cow were you going to think that that's a cow were you, was that going to cross your mind no no were you going to think that that's a cow that kind of suffered and feels pain the same way as my dog does or the same way as i do no no when that cow was killed did it suffer do you think Realistically, yes. Realistically, yeah. Is there like a nice way to kill an animal that doesn't want to die? No. 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 There's no nice way to kill anyone. Right. That doesn't deserve to die. But you pay for it to happen, don't you? Yeah. Sadly. I just, sadly. Yeah. You don't have to, do you? Or do you have to? No, it's by choice. Which is so, so would you ever think of making? Would you ever think of making the choice to kind of live by the morals that you're talking to me about? Yeah, but I don't think. What would hold you back? It's alright, there's no wrong, there's no wrong or right just, answer. I don't know, it's just every day, it's what you do every day. Like. Ha habit, maybe. Because yeah. we, I mean, I don't know how old you guys are, but you've obviously lived quite a while, and that whole life, that's what you've been told to do, and that's what you have done. So it, it becomes quite habitual in that it's sense. Normal. Yeah. normal. Yeah, it is normal, isn't it? But do you think if I, if I brought a pig here now, and I cut its throat, no. would you be happy about that? No. no. So why, if it happens because behind... Because I didn't have to see it. But if, you, really. if it's not good enough for your eyes, why is it good enough for your stomach, do you think? It is. No, <laughs> Hard questions, right? Is it, ever, is it something you've ever thought about before? No, no, I've never. Hard, isn't it? I think uh, the reason I ask these questions, I, it, we've entered into a bit of a, a period of time where we're talking more about how like humans should be treated fairly, but also like in, in your generation and, and in my generation as well. There's more people looking at going, as you were saying, like vegan and vegetarian, and I think it's something that's kind of been talked about a lot more. Would yeah. you agree about that? Yeah. Do you know any vegans in real life? Yeah. Did they ever talk to you about it? Not really. Uh, is it ever something you've considered before? <laughs> I would now. You, you, might, you might consider it now. Because, the, I mean, I think what's really good, again, about our generation is we live in a time where we have access to so much information on the internet and we don't have to, like, be t believe what we're told anymore. We can find out for ourselves. Yeah. Would, would it be something you'd be interested in, like, searching online in your own time? Maybe. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Yeah. When, when, when you go to Five Guys now, if you buy a cow burger, you can probably not buy it, but if you do buy it, think about it, yeah? And see how it makes you feel. So when you sit down and eat it, and you're gonna take a bite of that burger, think about how there's a cow that was raised in a factory farm, how it suffered, like your dog does, and how it would have screamed in pain and how it wanted to live. Will you do that for me? 
yeah or alternatively you can not buy it but if you do buy it do that and see how it makes you feel yeah yeah is that a promise yeah all right yeah. <laughs> thank you so much guys how was that for you Grand. yeah because yeah. I, I know that when um i ask these questions like some of them can be a bit confrontational in the sense that it makes us think about stuff we've not thought about before and it can make people uncomfortable but you guys are really fine so thank you so much i really appreciate Thanks. it yeah do you think um if we had to kill ourselves we'd maybe eat more plants yeah definitely i think i would eat more plants would you guys eat more plants oh yeah i would yeah have you ever thought about giving up eating meat no yeah, why not well i never had the chance do you think in like the world that we live in like london and wherever it is you guys are from there are more options than just animals yeah, there are definitely. There sure are. Yeah. Like some plants are being made for making meat or less. Yeah. Like they don't need meat that much. Like soybeans are very much like meat. Very nutritious, aren't they? Yeah. I started eating more soy as well. Have you guys like... Like so, soy pellets are actually more, more nutritious than meat. Yeah. So with that in mind, why do we eat meat then? With, yeah, our bodies still need it. Do you think they do? What, what, what do you think our bodies need from meat? Like calories from the meat. Can and we get calories protein. from? Can we get calories and protein from plants? Yeah, we can also get it, or just milk, which are still provided by cows, and yeah. we don't need to kill them for it. But do, I mean, I was reading about the dairy industry, and apparently all dairy cows still end up being slaughtered yeah. anyway. One last question: Do you think you give up eating meat? Huh? Do you think you guys would give up eating meat if we bear in mind that plants are nutritious, plants are delicious? Do you think we could do it? Would you guys do it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, definitely. well, thank you so much. Okay. Have a lovely holiday. Thank you for talking yeah. to me. Listen.